What's your favorite flavor of glue? I was more of a paper-eating kid. Did I ever tell you about the time I ate half of a German test? You ate half? No, I don't think you have. Oh, yeah, I was in algebra class. Or, algebra. The reason I say algebra is because my algebra teacher was also the German teacher. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Eins plus Y equals drei. Oh my god, if algebra had been in German, <laughs> I would have been so fucked. Germalgebra! Germalgebra! <laughs> he, handed, he handed back a bunch of tests. It was a test that had already been done. Mm. So he handed back the test with the grades on them, and I was like, hey, I'm really hungry, can I go get a snack? Mm. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm very hungry. Right inside the door of the main building were the vending machines. Okay. So I was like, can I just go grab a snack really quick? I'm really hungry. And he's like, no, class just started. Class just started and lunch is next period, so you can just wait. <laughs> and you ate the test in front of him to spite him. Well, it was like, yeah, class just started, but my other class is all the way on the other side of the campus, so I have five minutes to get from the other side of the campus to here, and I don't have time to go to the vending machine. Mm -hmm. So yes, I'm very hungry right now. Can I go get a snack? No, lunch is next period, so just wait. So while he was going over the results of the test, I just kept ripping off pieces of the test and eating them. Did you do it loudly and flagrantly? Not really. Not really any louder than normal. And then he said, I need you guys to give me the tests back because I haven't added them <laughs> to the book yet. So I was just like, oh. So I handed him back half of the sheet of paper and he was like, where did it go? And I said, I ate it. <laughs> and he went, go get a snack. Ah, <laughs> uh, fun stuff. So that's how, I, that's how I got to leave and go get a snack. I was like, oh, thank God. I get to have a Snickers bar now. <laughs> just anything to tide me over. Good lord, man. Just let me go get a snack, you know? I'm freaking hungry. Not that wool pulp isn't satiating. Maybe I use Cleo the Cuddler for a little bit. I feel like I've been using the Holy Shotagon, but... It's always gonna swap them out from time to time. Yeah! So what, what are we doing? We've had a run of bad quests recently. The railroad, the nonsense submarine. Why don't we go do the best quest in the game? What's that? Uh, gunner hideout, eh? I just saw a barricade that had the gunner's emblem on it, so it's probably what it is. Look, a chair! We can sit there until morning! Chair? What? Oh, a chair! <laughs> probably should handle that first, though. Nah, nah, we'll handle it in the morning. All right. We're gonna sleep out here on these park benches like we're homeless uh, bums! Nope, uh, we can't wait till morning, we're in combat. Once we're done killing these folks. Uh, villain? That looks yep. like a villain to me, yeah, a gunner. Ah! Hard to see them because it's so dark out. Oh, it went firing missiles at you as legendary. No, they had a 50. Ah. Uh. Ooh, marine armor. Lucky. Oh, Ooh. I actually want that. Uh, two, plus two luck. You need all the luck you can get. You know, running away is always an option. Come you're dying, you're dying, you're dying, you're dying. Oh, Not come on. Oh, God. Oh, your, your luck is so bad, you found some great armor. And then I died <laughs> immediately. Yeah. Great, thanks. Great. <laughs> You lost health really fast there. Someone, someone's got some powerful weaponry around it's here. Because the level scaling has gotten out of control. Yeah, you're level 89, which means everyone else does 89,000 more damage. Well, now we can wait while we're here and then move. Yep, now we can <laughs> wait while we're here and then go there, but that means I'm never seeing that armor again. Possibly, probably. Like the one the one time I saw a legendary armor that I actually wanted. Mm -hmm. Sleep well, my love? <laughs> yes, I did. Oh, you had a threesome with Deacon last Deacon, night, did you? Deacon, get the fuck out of here! What if you were in bed with Kyuri and you turned around and you turned back and it was Deacon because he's so good at imitating people he turned himself oh and... God. <laughs> mm, oh, oh, it's stealthy, yeah! stealthy. Yeah, so this that's one. the one, that's legendary wood! She's got legendary yeah! loot! The fight will be legendary! Uh, Yay, it's the same one! Oh, yeah. Look Yay! Out. Looks like your luck's not so bad after all. Oh, goodness, that one's wearing power armor. You are still getting shot at. And yep, yep, yep. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> Got him. Yeah, I feel like Deacon doesn't want to use his overpowered gun. Yeah, he did that on the roach, and that was it. <laughs> Ooh. The moon, a communist doomsday device. Yes. Since time. Oh my God, the moon! I knew it was hollow this whole time. All those people on the internet with the slightly racist names were right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, take a selfie! Oh my god, selfie time! <laughs> <laughs> we could probably head down now, do the actual quest. Uh, I would watch out there. <laughs> yeah, see, nothing happens. Oh, okay. No worries, they're then. One, they're one point safe. Sure, they have, to, they have to fly 15 meters before they actuate, right? No, it's a nuclear weapon, so it has to be one point safe. What's one point safe? 
One point safe means that if a bullet strikes one of the explosive lenses, it won't go off. Oh. It has to be able to survive a gunshot. Not, I guess not survive. Yeah, survive. It has to not detonate with a nuclear yield if it gets shot. Gotcha. That is, that is one point safe, if I'm remembering correctly. Okay. And then technically, you can also have a fire safe pit in a nuclear weapon, which will not detonate if it catches on fire. Oh. Yeah. That's another, that's another type of thing. I think basically all the nuclear weapons in the U.S. stockpile at this point are one point safe and fire safe. 200 years after everything's become unstable, though. Oh yeah, then I'm not sure. That might that might not handle it. Is it a radio? Oh, there's the uh, there's that. And uh, the pilot is going well. Going well. Uh, hold on, hold on. They seem to be, they must have caught an updraft. Damn it, my arm! Let's go see if there's any survivors we can loot! No, you don't loot the survivors, Mike. You loot the dead people. You loot the survivors after you put a bullet in them. Is someone there? I can hear you! They Get me can't. out of this thing! Get me out of here! No! Scream louder! Who's there? Let me out! Uh, look, I'm just looking for the mayonnaise. Could you grab it for me? It's on the second shelf right next to the pudding. That's not funny. That's not funny at all. What kind of horrible person would say that to a kid stuck in a refrigerator? Besides, I ate the pudding a long time ago. <laughs> you were scavenging and got stuck in a fridge, huh? I hid in here to get away from the bombs. But there isn't a handle on the inside, and it's really dark in here. The bombs, you... Not the nuclear bombs! I feel like you're definitely lying. Deacon, get out of the way. I'm not, I swear. I got inside to be safe. <laughs> now I can't get out. If I try something, you can shoot me. Um, Why should I trust you? I'm really tired and lonely. Can't you just open the door? You've been in there 200 years. What's another few days? Yeah, let me think about it. You're just gonna leave me in here? Don't go. Come back. Let me out. Who are you? My name is Billy. Please. I've been trapped in here for so long. Yeah, the bombs were over 200 years ago. There's no way you've been in there that long. I don't know how long I've been in here. A long time, though. A really long time. But you would have died of dehydration, or starvation, or died of old age. Or because you were pinned in the same position for 200 years. Yeah, you would have lost your freaking mind. 70,000 days of not being able to move. Why do you keep doing it in days? It, it really drives the point home. Aren't you gonna say something? I, why weren't you muffled that time? Hang on, there's a turkey, there's a turkey, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I just saw a turkey. Hello, turkey. <laughs> Look at her. You having a good time? Probably because you're not trapped oh, in a fridge. Oh, yeah, I bet you're having a good time because you're not trapped in a fridge. Look at you. Strutting your stuff. You know why they do that head bob thing? Ooh, teapot. You mm. know why they do that head bob thing? What up? Because they don't have binocular vision, so it gives them better depth perception. I want oh. out. I know you want out, but there's a turkey. I, yeah, they do the head bob thing. It's just a, a lot of a lot of birds that aren't prey birds do that. They bob their head when they walk because it gives them better depth perception. I see. Yeah, isn't that interesting? Yeah. yeah. All right, let's go back and talk to that kid. If it is a kid, let me out. You have two hundred years worth of crap stored in there. Is it gonna stink? Yeah. What's been going on with all the excretion? Not that. All right, fine. I'll open the door. Yes. I can't wait to get out. Uh, I think it's stuck. You might have to shoot it off. Uh, my legs are so stiff. Oh, it is a kid. Thank you. Thank you so much. I, what, okay, what is the story with you and that fridge? It happened so long ago, back before everything got wrecked. When I heard the sirens, I tried to find someplace safe. When everything started to shake and fall apart, I just crawled inside. Mm -hmm. When it got quiet again, I tried to get out. But there isn't a handle on the inside. I just want to go home. Can you help me? What? Please? You're right here by the main road. No one heard you yelling in 200 years? Mm. There's, I have a lot of complaints about this. Where did you live? Quincy, but I don't know how to get there. Everything's so different. It's all blown up. I just want to find out what happened to my mom and dad. They're probably dead. Such a cool thing to say. Dead? You really think so? Then I'm all alone. Who's going to take care of me? You? The turkey over there! Were your parents good to you? Yeah, my dad was the best. My mom always took care of me. 
Well, what does your heart say? They are still alive. They have to be. I want to go home. Where is your home? He said it was in Quincy. That's only 500 meters away. Did, it, did the fridge get launched over here? If your house is 500 meters away, then your parents are probably dead. Otherwise, they certainly would have found you. Yeah, why aren't your parents out... Okay. This is 100% a scam. We cannot trust this kid. This is totally a scam. Multiple, there's multiple problems here. Multiple red flags are going off. One, the door just fell off. So, like, are you telling me at no point in the, two, in the 200 years that you've been in there, did you just kind of push against the door to get it to fall off the inside? Two. No, my muscles atrophied. Two. Then how are you standing right now? <laughs> Your muscles atrophied, huh? How are you standing? Two. What did you eat? Or drink? Because there ain't, there's nothing in there. It is bone dry, my friend. Well, ghouls don't need to eat, as they've established. And also, he probably... No, they do need to eat. He licked the mildew off the side of the they fridge. They do need to eat, he Mike. Didn't, they didn't need to. He chose to eat the All pudding. Right, come on, let's I go. I guess I was in that fridge for a really long time. Yeah, apparently so. I wonder, can one such as myself join this brotherhood of steel? Maybe you want to. Cute kid. Is he for sale? Who are you? I don't know. What's a ghoul cool child worth? <laughs> Hey, you can't sell me. Plenty. I'll give you 200 caps. Ghouls are immune to radiation, don't age, and don't need to eat. Oh, sir. You can work them real hard. 200 years, no one's come by this road. And then in 10 minutes, two people have walked by. I'm pretty sure that's William Saliers, the, the voice of Rigby from regular show. <laughs> No, his name is Bullet, apparently. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Bullet. I'm sorry. I um, see his name tag. Nope, sold. Kid, I found you a new home. Come on, kid. I got some holes that need digging. You son of a bitch. I'll get you for this. I'm <laughs> sure you will. Looks like the scammer just got scammed. Yeah! And now, also, now that I have two in the cast. Do you require something? You sold me? Then you rescue me? Why? I did it to trick Bullet into giving me money. Maybe you could have told me that. I thought you really sold me. Well, if we told you, you probably would have ruined it. I've had this mug for too long. Might be time for a new face. What, this guy is? I feel, I, I, I legitimately do feel kind of bad selling a child into slavery. Well, good thing you didn't actually do that. You killed the witnesses. I whoa, whoa, this thing's got a climb on it. Uh, Jeez! <laughs> that highway is totally wrecked. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, look out, kid! Look out! Oh, shit. Damn, that is an unwieldy weapon. Hey, boss, you mean to drop that? I didn't drop anything. That gun just went off and shot the child. All right, we'll go. We'll go free the kid. We won't sell him into slavery. Uh, my legs are so stiff. Everything's so different. I guess I was in there for a really long time. What do I do now? Like, none of this makes any sense. Uh, it's really bright out. I haven't seen the sun in so long. What if we had rescued him while it was like pouring rain? Then would he still would he still say that? Ooh, that's a good question, actually. Yeah, would he be like? Would he be like? Oh, I haven't seen the sun in so long. I, I'm honestly curious. All right, let's see. <laughs> this quest is silly. We're gonna mock the hell out of this fun quest. This quest is silly. It's very silly. It is conceptually brain dead. Todd Howard himself wrote this quest. How dare <laughs> us? Todd Howard himself wrote this quest while on methamphetamines. Dude, can you imagine how loud it would be inside that fridge when it's raining? Oh, yeah. It would just be like... <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's really bright out. I haven't seen the sun in so long. What if we did it at night? You're assuming he has multiple dialogue. I first. want this to be the, the most comprehensively designed quest in the game. This is somebody's baby. It ain't gonna be. Oh, did I hear a morning dove? Get me out of this thing! I swear I just heard a morning dove. It would be an evening dove. It's pretty late. Uh, my legs are so stiff. Whoa, it's nighttime and it's still kind of bright. <laughs> it was always pitch black in the fridge. Don't worry. Everything will be fine. Thanks. I live in Quincy. Or at least, I used to. Alright, let's go find your home. But first we're gonna sleep in this house for a few more hours. Yeah, so I'm gonna sit in this chair for 12 more hours. <laughs> The very pretense of this quest is incredibly silly. Yes. That this child has been alive and inside a refrigerator for 200 years. At least the stars look the same. Yeah, the stars do still look the same. 
I hope we find out what happened to my mom and dad. Back up a little bit. I got personal space issues. Uh, he disappeared. Oh no, he's cooking food. Because he's so hungry. Because he hasn't eaten in 200 years. I guess years. I was in that fridge for a really long time. Yeah, you were. Because like, they... Also, he's a kid. So, he hasn't aged. Yeah. Like, I'm pretty sure the ghouls still age, don't they? I guess they don't. The condition they were in when they were ghoulified is the condition oh. they will forever remain. That's not true, though. What is the brand on that fridge? Because for the locks to not be disintegrated after 200 years? It must be a good brand fridge. Stepping on their own landmines up there. No, oh, no, that was the kid. <laughs> what kid? Why'd you step on a landmine? Oh, is he sure Bubbly this is functions. the right way? They're all houses. They're all broken down houses. Yeah, but this is this has got to be where his parents are. Mom, Dad, are you in there? Billy, they're, Billy. They're, they're, it's not going to be them. It's going to be someone else, right? Son. No. Is that really you? It's me. It's really me. Oh my God! We <laughs> thought you were dead. What happened to you? You're all burned up like me. We're ghouls, Billy. The radiation changed us. Looks like it did the same thing to you. Don't worry about it, Billy. Your dad and I don't care what you look like. We still love you. I love you too, Mom. I missed you guys. It's been so long. You there, in the house. I want those ghouls, <laughs> especially that kid. Why You is... can give them a peaceful light or die trying to save them. That's the man that tried to buy me. Oh my god, they want Billy. They won't take us, Carol. At least not alive. Billy, get upstairs. <sighs> Hang on here, I'll just go deal with it. So, bullets. Yeah, the house is empty. It looks like they left in a hurry. God damn it. All right, boys, we're heading south. Double time. Shh, everybody be quiet. We do good work, uh, you know? Oh my god! <laughs> Great. Oh, and he actually did bring back up. We gotta take them out too. Very well. <laughs> That's easily done. Oh my god. How did he convince a bunch of other idiots about his plan to kidnap oh, the one that's child? Invisible. Oh boy. Uh, Where'd they go? Uh, that invisibility is actually kind of working for him. Oh, he had a he had a TP9 oh, fellow TP9 liker in another life. We could have been allies. Nay, <laughs> comrades. I can think of worse things. Shh, be quiet! <laughs> it's like, what are you, me, doing a bit? What is this? Thank you for bringing us back, our little boy. And saving us from that man. You are welcome. How did you all end up as ghouls? We didn't make it to the shelter in time. The door was shutting as the bombs fell. We both must have taken a lot of radiation. I guess we were some of the lucky ones. Most folks die instead of becoming ghouls. Must be something in both our genes. So that's why you guys look like me. Yeah, Billy. That's why. You're upstairs, Billy. <laughs> you got grounded. Although it's really more why you look like us. We wandered for a while, but eventually came back here. We've been living here ever since. Not really anywhere else to go. Let me thank you. Take this. <sighs> And we didn't look 500 meters south for our child. We didn't think to walk down the street and be saying, Billy, Billy, I had to shine my shoes. <laughs> look how clean my huh? shoes are. Holy shoes. I had to shine my yellow wingtips. You <laughs> understand. Oh, boy. I knew I knew what I was in for, and I still wasn't prepared <laughs> for it. This is the best possible resolution. We've reunited a loving family so they can live together in their burned out husk of a house and yes. their hideous deformities for the rest of their lives. Exactly. You guys might want to take care of this corpse that's out here. What a what a day. That was a thing, all right. Carrie, I'm going to need extra cuddles tonight because <laughs> I feel mentally drained. <laughs> <laughs> that quest wasn't difficult? It wasn't difficult, but man, was it taxing. <laughs> mentally. That was the exact word I was going to use. <laughs> Excuse me? Oh, okay. Sorry. I'm going to assume that this was Bullet's camp. So, like, <laughs> this this whole thing, this was Bullet's camp. He was 250 meters away from where the kid was in the fridge. Mm -hmm. And 250 meters away from his the kid's parents. <laughs> and only recently was like, hey, you know what? Maybe I should go walk around and see, like, 
if there's stuff out there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I see a person down there. Do you think they're a friendly or an hey, enemy? I, I got something important to say. I hang really on, appreciate you putting up with my bullshit. Truth is, it's been a long time since I, I've had a friend. I'm a liar. Everyone knows it. Oh, I have no secret of it. Because the truth is, there we go. I'm a fraud to my core. Oh, when I was young, I <laughs> a long time ago. I was. Well, oh. Yes, you're a fraud. We hear you. Are you trying to sell me some more of your lies? Go on. I ran with a gang in University Point. We called ourselves the UP Death Claws. For kicks, we'd terrorize anyone we thought was a synth. We kept egging each other on. Started with some property damage, graduated to some beatdowns. Then, inevitably, a lynching. The Claws Don't leader was convinced we'd finally found and killed the synth. Looking back, I'm not so sure. Did Why don't you just check them for a synth component? Yeah, they have. The he must not have known they had those. I'll withhold judgment until you finish. Thanks. So I turned my back on my brothers. Broke all contact. Time passed. I became a farmer, if you can believe that. Then, one day I found someone. She saw something in me I didn't know was there. Barbara, well, she was... She just was. She existed. I got it. Sounds special. Being with her made me feel like the whole world had a chance. That one day we could climb out of this wreckage. She could do that to people. We were trying for kids. Eking out a living. Then one day, it turns out my Barbara... Was a synth. She was a synth. Oh, she didn't oh know no! That. I certainly didn't. I don't know how the Death Claws found out, but... Wait, she didn't know? There was blood. The Death Claws killed her? Like actual death claws or your gang, the death claws? Yes. I don't remember much clearly after that. That doesn't answer my question. I know I killed most of the claws. I must have made a big impression. The railroad contacted me, figuring I'd be sympathetic, seeing that I lost my wife. And, well, what I did afterwards. You look like you're a grieving widow. Would you like to join our underground railroad? And then now is where you tell me that it was a lie and you're trying to teach me a lesson, huh? I deserve that, but no. That's the end of the story. I don't even know why I lie anymore. But I can't tell the truth. Except about that. Everyone, Tom, Des, you, even that asshole Carrington, they deserve to be on the railroad. I don't. Carrington is an asshole. I'm everything wrong with this whole fucking commonwealth. You're the only friend I got. You bit hard on yourself? I don't deserve you being okay with this. Hell, I'm not even asking for it. But I figured you should know. As long as you can point a gun, we don't care. The most important thing is you're trying to make up for it, so... I'm not the hugging type. So, yeah. Good talk. Hugs, Deacon. Was that... Uh, Where's your you... loyalty quest? Don't we have to go rescue your family? Find a memento? No, that's it. No locket? You don't have to... No, no you don't have to do any of that stuff. It's just he's, he's really glad that he has you as a friend. All we did with Deacon is... Visit some dead drops and then rescue a child in the fridge. I don't feel like we've earned this friendship. Well, he doesn't feel like he's earned this friendship either, so I guess we're on even ground. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> now that we've reached the highest level of affinity with Deacon, we can ditch him and find somebody else. Yay! Well, that makes me feel kind of bad, though, because Deacon's a cool dude. Yeah, well, there's other cool dudes. Yeah. I suppose driving cross country is now out of the question. Oh, yeah, it kind of is. Well, I guess we can head back to base. I guess. What do you want to do now? I don't know. That was what I was going to do today. Good lord. You're just going to go poke around until you find a child in a fridge? Yep. You had a very specific <laughs> goal in mind. <laughs> I mean, it, and again, in Fallout New Vegas, there, there's the, the ghoul that's where all of the, um, where all the night can are, and, he, and it's like, what have you been doing to survive? And he says, I'm not delicate, I eat rad roaches, and I drink the water coming off the pipes. Maybe he So just, it's like, he still needs to eat! He just likes the taste of water coming off the pipes. <sighs> he Gross. doesn't eat for sustenance, he eats for pleasure. 